again who has not recognized Professor Ramakrishnan's caliber and his visionary approach and I call him and I consider seriously, uh, honestly I must say that he's a genius in his field. This is what my association began when I was hardly 19 years of age when I joined um, School of Politics and International Relations in Mahatma Gandhi University, Kottayam. After several years of from high school uh, onwards, you know, the training was from girls only school and then girls only college and the high, um, very kind of dangerous, terrible discipline, disciplining by nuns made me like a uh, mentally, you know, a mental patient <laughs> type of person. So I was so lucky that I got admission in Mahatma Gandhi University department. Uh, it's very prestigious. Uh, in colleges, if you get an admission, that's not that prestigious. But if you get an admission on merit in department, university department is considered as a very prestigious thing. Uh, my first taste of social justice of uh, Professor Ramakrishnan, along with Professor KMCD, I have heard from, uh, you know, outside the interview. But after my interview, I didn't have the money to pay the fees on the same day itself. Uh, my father told, uh, you know, Professor C.V. Charyan, who was the head of the department, that he will pay next day. Please keep uh, my admission. Then he said, no, no, for everybody we have a rule. Then I heard Professor Ramakrishnan arguing. He, she performed very well. She's a meritorious student. Money is not the matter. The talent and the merit of the student should be considered, you know, uh, that should be considered first, not the money. Money come later. I got the admission and I, I saw these two teachers arguing in favor of me and I got the admission and next day I paid the fees and I joined. And I was a very shy and timid, highly dis uh, reserved student. I even afraid of sitting in the class when another boy is there. The, the kind of training he gave us, it brought a lot of changes in me. You know, after one year, I think I became so naughty that, you know, I learned that there are different kinds of touch. I never felt that he, he used to touch students. And um, we became so friendly and we didn't have any kind of power relations between us. So that is one thing, you know, the social relation, the gender relation, without reading any book, our own experience gave us it, you know, um, this, uh, he saw the seeds of gender justice through his activities, you know, the kind of special training he gave us without even, we were not even knowing that this is part of, uh, you know, then after that, uh, we had to, he advised us to take classes. I was not able to take a class. So, you know, I was shivering and I was so nervous. But after a few days, it became so easy to speak in front of all my classmates and uh, all those um, unnecessary fear, everything, um, it, it had gone from my mind. And then after my MA, he asked me, what are you going to do next? So I will uh, try to write some competitive examinations. I'll take a clerk's job. No, 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 no. I won't allow you to do that. You have to apply for JNU. So I was thinking, it is not in my imagination. I don't even know what is this PhD about. But 
he led me he asked me to apply and when i uh, you know i applied in three uh, centers and i got admission in two centers i got selected and i chose center and uh, th those days it was soviet studies center for soviet studies because i was very fond of professor siti's class you know foreign policy of soviet union so what uh, i was mostly most interested is that you know stalin's era he used to say that you know what stalin did he cut 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 he cut the throats of all his um, you know enemies to stay in power so that attracted me we need to study you know it's not about you know the cpm party and other cpi you know leftists they say that soviet union is very good they are doing all well you know they are they are very humane but i couldn't find there is somewhere some gap is there in our understanding about the reality of soviet union what actually it is the ideology is different but practice is all the more very very different than the ideology so that made me to choose this center and by the time you know um i met his friend r sugathan in this campus only and uh, uh, he proposed to me to for marriage and i was not even knowing him then i told him that i i you know this person told me like this he sent a letter i gave it to him he said don't worry no need to fear very fearful afraid of him is a very decent very good <laughs> person <laughs> and he also has the um, uh, kind of uh, feeling that i am so obedient to ramki even i don't be obedient to him <laughs> even my even my children has that they used to say that if i don't agree with them if i don't uh, if i say no to them for anything we will call ram kankal you know we'll say everything what you are doing here you know be democratic be the good student of ram kankal this is what they say these are all interesting part there are so many things which i myself keep uh, you know um for my, uh, keep for myself i don't want to express all and what i learned from him and the academics the gender uh, gender justice and feminism and all this and uh, he is the one i think in international relations wrote a book on feminist ir that was in malayalam it didn't get much publicity much before uh, uh, the jnu ir uh, teachers started writing about feminist ir we in kotayam ir we had a ready book to read and understand what is this feminist ir the mainstream feminist uh, mainstream ir you know what is the gap what we need to the invisibility the injustice the in non inclusion of women's experiences and all we have learned uh, in our ma days then after that you know another thing is the critical understanding the uh, critical thinking this is one aspect and ir theory of course and then another important uh, course i have done with him is it was about international economics and i think i scored the highest mark in his course uh nearly 80% that was the only course i got a good mark <laughs> and uh, yeah after that when i uh, joined jnu before i joined jnu i was you know i had two kids and i with great difficulty and struggle i completed my phd in 1997 i went back to trivandrum i started say, staying there when i started looking for jobs in kerala i understood that i have no space in kerala because money the political contacts everything was in place then 
One day I met him by chance uh, somewhere in uh, Trivandrum. He came for a conference, I think in Kerala University. He told me that don't come to MG University, you have something better waiting for you. I never knew that uh, I, will be, I will become a JNU faculty. He told me that you have to apply, you keep on applying, you will get. And after I met him, I think um, it was two years after I got posting here as a research associate and now I am permanent here. And, my, um, and um, it's a coincidence that the first course which we learned from him and the training he was uh, giving us about gender justice, he taught my course MA course, MA, uh, this Gender in International Politics, that may be the last course he taught in JNU. This is our JNU, uh, this is our uh, journey of academic and personal journey and I don't feel that I need to miss him because he'll be always with me and just a call away. That's the feeling I have and we need to work with him and uh, we have to uh, record all the, you know, the kind of knowledge and the, his own experiences. It will be a very good reference book for the future generations. With this, I end my opinion. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.